guys, I'd like to say it now before I get too deep into this episode that I'm very appreciative for the support you showed in the first video. The amount of feedback I received, it was overwhelming. I'm really glad you guys all enjoyed it. So please, keep offering video ideas, things you'd like to see, items you'd like described, and other suggestions in the comments, and of course, I'll keep on making these. So, back on track, what are Moggles? Well, they're a pair of equipable goggles, as the name would imply, which grant the player the ability to see during night in a very unique way. They're probably one of the lesser known forms of light in Reign of Giants, but honestly, one of the most interesting. What do they do? Well, the models don't necessarily provide a source of light, they instead allow you to see everything on screen without a conventional light radius. You will instead see the world with basically a high contrast filter. This is very unique as again all their light sources simply create a source of light with a limited radius whereas the moggles actually let you perceive the world differently. To get yourself a set of moggles you don't need to rely on rare monster drops since they can be crafted. The recipe it only requires two live mole worms, two electrical doodads, and one glow berry. Mole worms are located in the grassland and deciduous forest biomes. They spawn from burrows in the ground. They can even be found rarely in tumbleweeds and occasionally during earthquakes underground they'll fall from the ceiling. To capture one, simply use minerals such as flint or rocks to bait them onto the surface and then hit them with a hammer equipped. This will cause the mole worm to drop as an item. You probably already know how to make electrical doodads, but a quick refresh never hurt. While near Science Machine or Alchemy Engine, go to the Science tab. With two gold nuggets in your inventory and one cut stone, which is refined from three rocks, you can make a doodad. You'll need to do this twice. Probably one of the most difficult things about obtaining the Moggles is killing depth worms to get glow berries. Don't let that deter you from trying, as with the right setup, they can be dealt with very easily. You could melee and kite the depth worms like any other monster. However, this is quite difficult as they frequently attack you and then hide underground. They also have a large health pool at 900 points and deal 75 damage on each hit, so be careful. I would highly suggest you befriend a rock lobster or two using rocks and flint and then let them attack the depth worms. This way the rock lobster tanks all of the damage leaving you unharmed. You can also use nearby bunnymen villages to attack the depth worms. Bunnymen will attack depth worms on site, so you don't need to befriend them to have them assist you. Be careful when using the bunnymen village to help you out though. If you have meat in your inventory, the bunnymen will auto attack you instead. If you pick up the monster meat that the depth worm drops, they will also immediately attack you. Now that you have all the necessary components to craft the moggles, head over to an alchemy engine. Under the light tab, you'll find what you're looking for. Go ahead and prototype yourself a new and wicked cool item. Moggles are excellent for the exploration of caves, ruins, and just spelunking in general. This allows a much wider field of view, allowing you to see all of the threats that typically lie in the caves, giving you more time to react. Plus, you're already in the cave, so it's pretty easy to refuel the moggles with glowberries, just kill some more depth worms. I really enjoyed using the moggles when I would need to hunt fireflies. You could wait until a full moon to have a natural source of light, or you could use the moggles and run around with a bug net, capturing fireflies in great numbers whenever you wanted to. Hunting for coalithants is also easier with these moggles if you find yourself running out of daylight. Using torches and lanterns limits the distance which you can see, which makes it more difficult to find the tracks. Not to mention it makes it pretty easy to see bosses during night fights. As I've shown, the moggles are an incredibly useful item, however they do require special attention to keep functional. They last for one and a half days or 12 minutes before being completely used up. If you let the durability reach zero, you will have to craft the item again, but don't fret, if you take the moggles off before they reach the breaking point, or repair them using a glowberry, 33% of the durability will be restored, and you can keep the item. I'd also like to make it clear that by keeping these in your inventory, the durability will not be used up. Only when they are being actively used will the item degrade. Alrighty guys, that wraps up this video. I certainly hope you enjoyed it and found this information useful. Like I suggested earlier, leave a like or drop a comment telling me what you thought about it. Let me know what you want to explain to the next episode and I'll certainly look into making a video about it. Your feedback is absolutely going to help me make more of these episodes. 
As always, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.